Hi everyone, welcome to Closet Conversations, episode 11. I'm Gianna, your closet conversationalist. And do you notice that I always like hesitate? I'm your closet conversationalist. And I'm here this week. Uh, I promised you guys a speedy uh, conversation on the Louis Vuitton Speedy. So that's what I'm doing this week. Um, welcome. If you are new here, um, we talk about art, fashion, uh, luxury, a little of this and a little of that. We go where the conversation takes us. If you like that sort of a vibe, please go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell. Um, we love comments, so go ahead and start the conversation or continue the conversation down below. Um, and thanks for being here. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else would like it, please share. Um, here we go. Uh, I'm going to jump right in because I have a few speedies. I think I've talked about that before. Uh, I do like this shape bag, um, but I'm going to give you a little history on it um, in the meantime as well. So I had mentioned in episode three um, about the key ball. The key ball is a duffel travel bag that Louis Vuitton makes. Um, and that is what the speedy was born of. So... They've been making this one since, I want to say the 1800s. Um, here is one of my key balls. I have a nice uh, travel tag on there. Top and Designs made this one uh, years ago, and it's still going strong. It's like a glitter and red, green, and gold. And it's still going strong. It's always been on this bag. It's never had another home. So this is the key ball 55. The 55 is the largest size that you can carry on on an airplane it's 55 centimeters long uh, so it's the exact size for the overhead cabin um mine is a mon monogram which means that you had to special order this uh and choose your colors you were allowed to choose your colors and choose where you wanted your stripe so some people got it along here um i think that's the only thing there or here. Um, you could get two or three initials and you could get dots in between if you wanted. I'm not a dots. Well, in that context, I'm not a dots fan. Um, but you know, when it comes to Yoyo Kusama, I am. So, um, so I didn't get the dots in between. I just got the GF um, and the two greens. We know I like green. Um, a nice surprise was that they put a green interior to match the stripe on the outside. By the way, if you're ordering this, uh, nowadays, it's no longer called the Mon Monogram. It's now called the uh, My Heritage, but it's the same thing. So they make it specially. It takes like, I don't know how long, um, but they make it and then they ship it to you. So it's just one, one piece of canvas that goes from top around. So one side, the LVs will be upside down. The other side is straight up. And yeah, so this one back then, it, they didn't come with a pocket inside, so it's very annoying. Very annoying. So it did come with one D-ring. Oh, let me see if you can see that. One D-ring so you can hook like an accessory on there. So I typically hook like a pochette accessoire or um, put my keys in or whatever I have quick access to. Um, I've had this bag since about 20. 13 I think um so it's been well worn it comes with a strap oh it's a bandolier or bandolier I say bandolier I think people say bandolier um because before uh the key balls didn't have a strap and key balls get very heavy very fast so you need a strap Okay, so that's one key ball, and that's the history. Remember, I'm leading up to the Speedy because the Speedy is the is what the key ball was made off of. So now this one is the one I introduced to you in the episode three. This is the Yayoi Kusama 2012 one. So obviously this one wasn't special ordered. This one was just... Uh, purchased and it's also it's the same size it's the keep all 55 um keep all comes in 45 50 55 and i think 60 um 
I wouldn't get the 60 because then I can't carry it on, right? Um, and I always need a lot of stuff, so I got the max to what I could. Um, I wouldn't get the 45 or the 40 because why? When I would need more room, like I wouldn't. And they do nice special editions all the time of the 45. I think the 45 a lot so it has like the prints on it and stuff that I would love but I don't buy them because I know it's a 45 and I feel like those extra 10 inches or 10 centimeters sorry because it's in centimeters they measure are needed so I don't get them but this one luckily was in 55 so I got it and it was green so I got it and it did come with a pocket inside and it predates the other one you know this one is 2012 did come in the pocket inside but it came with a standard brown canvas that comes inside all the keepos and then oh it does have I don't know if you can see that Yayoi Kusama see the signature there Louis Vuitton Paris um the difference in this signature and the ones that she's doing now I think they all say 2023 so they're like commemorating this collection and I think that's because of its difference with the first collection and also the significance of her age, I would think. So we're going to get into the Speedy now. So in 1930, um, Louis Vuitton came out with the Speedy. Now, the Speedy is simply a shorter version, a smaller version, a smaller version of the keep -off. Now, remember, I'm wondering which side to show you. This side, right. So, the Speedy, this one is in Epi Leather, by the way. I don't think they make this one anymore. Um, and this one's very old. I got this one for graduating in Italy with my master's um, in fashion marketing and management. Um, is this the right side? I think this is the right side. So, it has a little LV embossed in here. And it has my initials somewhere there. These used to be gold, but you know, over time it's worn down. Um, this is a Speedy 30. So this is the 30 centimeter. So this is the one that they actually came out with from the keep ball. Remember there were no straps back then. So it was just, you hand carried everything. It came with a lock and key. So you would zip this over and the little tab has the thing to go into the lock and you lock it right up. And this was so that you could keep personal items with you when you were traveling, um, you know, and have them within reach. But you could also lock it because a lot of people traveled by train and by boat. So you'd be sleeping and your stuff would be secure, right? Um, this bag was a workhorse. I know you can see, see the condition. Like I used this so much. My aunt who had given me the money for it, she complained about how big it was, but I would always respond with, you're not the one wearing it. <laughs> so I loved it. I love a big bag. I loved that it was, you see the thing was I had a friend that had the 25 at the same time. And we'll get into the 25 and uh, she would complain about the pain to get into it the pain like apparently this part would be shorter for the 25 so it would be hard to get into so I got the 30 right now that's in black epi leather this was my first speedy um I'm hoping I can remember all the order that I got them in but I don't remember so let me go with the next epi one that I have, it's a 25. Um, and it's pretty much, well, no, it's not the same. Actually, I need to show you that. Okay, so this one, this one definitely predates the other one, even though I got this later. Um, the reason I know is because inside, okay, so inside the black one, Let's do a little comparison quickly. Inside the black one has like a textile lining and two patch pockets. That's about it. And a D-ring, and a D-ring, right? Now this one has, it's, it's its own green, like it has the inside of the hide 
as the lining and a D-ring and the same kind of a pocket there like what was in the, the key ball, right? So that's this one. It has the same uh, zip and the same, yep. Yeah. But, so that's the only difference with this one, right? And it's a 25. So no strap again, because they didn't come out with the strap until 2011 when they did the bandolier. I have one bandolier. It's this one right here. So this one is really special. So the difference with the bandolier now is that you see the leather running on the side, up the side of each bag, because it has the loop for the strap. Now, if you notice, mine is signed KK here because KK Leather Goods painted all over this. Remember, I showed you a key clay last week, last, yeah, last week, uh, that she had painted, but she painted this one too. Um, she didn't paint it specifically for me. If you ever know the story of this bag, I saw this bag in someone's collection video online. And she said it was KK Leather Goods that had painted it. And I followed KK Leather Goods. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And I asked for a quote on how much to do something like this for me. Because, you know, I have my, my brand called the Original Arm Candy. And this is all these brands. Actually, go check it out. It's in the link. Um, but yeah, uh, so I wanted something of the candy theme. And I thought it was really cool. Um, so... She quoted me on how much it would be, and I thought it was pretty pricey. Um, anyway, I reached out to the person who had it in her collection video, and I was like, anytime you feel like parting with that Speedy, you just let me know. And she was like, actually, I don't get enough use out of it. Um, I don't even know that I love Speedy that much. Um, you want it? Did I want it? I was like, yes. So she told me how much and it was, uh, let's just put it this way. If I had commissioned the painting I and bought the bag, I'd have been breaking the bank. Uh, this was nowhere near breaking the bank. So I was very, very lucky. So since then, oh, and she added the custom done luggage tag has donuts on it okay and you know that I use as a bag charm just to dress up the bag kind of and uh, I added the strap from the multi pochette I had originally gotten the pink strap I since bought the green and the red from people who had other versions um, but the pink one I find goes best with this and typically I actually dress it up even more with let me show you with uh, candies. There's a candy. This is a Louis Vuitton. Um, what do you call this? Bag charm. Bag charm. Key ring holder. Whatever. So I tend to dress it up even more because the multi pochette strap has a D ring. So I tend to put this in here, and there you have it. Like it's really cute. So yeah. So I use this bag a lot. This is a 35. So I use it mostly for travel, to be honest with you, because it's it's pretty substantial. It's a big bag. Um, so it's 35. It has the patch pocket inside, which means it probably predates 2015, I think, in, and it has a D ring, just like all the rest of them. Um, I think it predates 2015. I think 2015 is when. Louis Vuitton decided to make a zippered pocket inside. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have any that have zippered pockets inside. But, um, yeah. So, and it comes with two zippers. So here, with the bandolier, how you lock it is, like, it actually has the locking thing in the hardware. Like, you'd put the lock through here. Um, but since I don't lock any of mine, I don't even know where the lock is. But basically, yeah, let me show you them together so you can see. So basically, you'd run the lock through these and lock it in the middle, right? So 
that is that one. Um, it would come with a normal Vaquetta strap, the Vaquetta to match this, right? But you know, a back like this, you have to kind of accessorize it. Um, okay. So remember, I don't like anything that is plain monogram, right? So it has to have some specialness going on to it. Um, I'll get to this mini one now. This is the Murakami, Takashi Murakami. I think I bought this one in 2004 or five. I don't know. I remember I was literally on my way to class one day, I think, and I stopped in a Louis Vuitton boutique because you know it's Miami and that's what we do. <laughs> so um, I stopped in and they had this little cutie and it was so, I don't want to say cheap, but it was so affordable at the time that I said, oh my gosh, I have to get it. It's so cute. And at the time, you know, we had these little Motorola StarTac type deals. It wasn't a Motorola StarTac. It was a Motorola something. And it was like, the phone was like this big, you know, and then you have your keys with your little wallet, card case, whatever. And everything, lipstick, whatever, everything could fit right into this including your phone not anymore but yeah so um i dropped everything in and i took this to class in the days with my book bag well my tote that would have my books in it and so this was the cutest thing and it was so popular at the time because you know murakami was was big at the time and it was just great and it's like exact version just to scale so it's small and everything everything the inside was lined in there's money in here guys and i'm so excited about that um but the inside was red and i think i left something in there that caught that and then there's a lock and key that's in there or the key for the lock that's in there still um Fun fact, or not so fun fact, about this piece is that this red raspberry Alcantara lining, um, it actually discolored a lot of the bags along here. Luckily, mine didn't get anything, really, um, but a lot of people's did. And so you see when they're selling them online, like, yeah, it varies. But anyway, this bag is worth so much more than I paid. Um, I'm going to say... If I do the math, about six times what I paid for it um, is what it's selling for because apparently Kim Kardashian or one of the Kardashians bought all the little Kardashian kids, uh, these in the whites or the blacks or the mix of both. So then it became really popular and demand went up and like now it's like insane and I'm telling you that this was not too expensive at the time. I mean, probably too expensive for the size of it, but it wasn't like breaking the bank at all, at all, at all. So now I have this one. This one doesn't have any, I think I've introduced you to this one before. This one is called the Chain uh, 20. So this is a 20. 20 up until a few years ago was an only a special edition size. It was an irregular size. They never made the 20 in anything. So it's 20 centimeters across. But this was from 2013 and this was a special design. And so it had a strap, which Speedies did not have at that point. Well, the bandolier came out in 2011. So I guess they did. Um, but the classic Speedy didn't, right? So, and you can still, I think you can still get the classic Speedy. I'm not sure. But yeah, so this one was really cute with nice uh, Baquetta details and, you know, all of it. The hammered hardware. And it was just pretty special. And it's because it had this strap, it also has the loops for you to put the lock. But here, oh, the lock is actually in it. <laughs> Silly me. Um, yeah, so, and this one, I think I've shown this to you. That's why I'm running it running through it this one is Baquetta on the inside and it tells you that it's from 2013 and this bag is just I love it as much as it doesn't have anything on it I think the chain enough is limited edition enough and even the kind of strap and the key crochet I think it's called you can correct me in the comments um you know I just thought it was really cute really you know I don't know I like it and it's a 20. 
I didn't have a 20. I don't think I have a 20. That's my only 20. So now I have another 25. It's a 25, but it's a bandeau. Oh, oh, yeah. It's a bandeau. It's special edition. So this one has, I think this vaquetta is treated already, and the, the sides are black leather. This is canvas. It's from the trunks collection, and then it has patent leather across here. They did a whole lot for this one, right? It's from the trunks collection from, I think, 20... I don't know which year. Twenty some before twenty nineteen, and inside is like a more than a microfiber. I think this is like Alcantara or suede or something. I don't know. Comes with the strap. Comes with the lock. Lock strap. Oops. Let's see. Yeah. Lock and key. Strap. Let me show you. Strap. 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 Normal vaquetta strap. Well, treated vaquetta, right? Oh, and it comes with a key code. The thing, too. The key bell. I don't know what they call it. I forget. Um, right. And it has stuff in it, but two pockets there. Two pockets. Patch pockets. And it's just a beautiful bag. And it looks vintage, but it's not. And it's just, I love it. I really do. I love it because I feel like even if I wear it and when I wear it because it's already got that aged look, it's going to wear fantastically. I love it. Um, I think I've only carried it once so far because I love looking at it. If you notice, it's always on the shelf right there. Um, right. And then I have another Takashi Murakami because, you know, his collection was iconic. I love the multicolor. Um... I do love the multicolor. I didn't too love the, I don't too love the canvas with nothing on it, but this is like canvas with something on it on steroids. So um, there's this one. I'm glad I got this one because the white ones, remember, had some bleeding issue from the lining on the inside. So this one is a Speedy 30. It does not come with a strap. It is a heavy bag because these metal corners so it doesn't get as much use as i would like instead of the lock it has a different kind of a lock it has that one i think they call it s lock um and inside is like a one patch pocket right and everything is embossed on this one i think the information right so there's that one and then we have my favorite one I don't have a favorite they're like children I'm not supposed to have a favorite but I do so let me make sure I've gone through all of them one two three four five six seven yes this is the last one it's the eighth one it's the, I'm not buying any more speedies guys they all do something different. They're all different sizes. I do it in repeat. Like if I have a 25 classic, I have a 25 bandolier, and then I have no more 25s. I have two 30s that have no straps, and 30 is bigger and needs straps, so I was crazy, but I liked those designs, right? I have a 35 bandeau with the painting all over it. And I have the little mini, and I have the 20, chain 20, right? With the chain. But then there's this. <sighs> I am in love with this one. I have not carried it because I don't, I'm too scared. <laughs> so this one is, see the plastics even still on the luggage tag that came as a charm on it. It's like a, the, yeah, luggage tag. Anyhow, here's where the lock is kept when not in use. This is all Vaquetta. So this will patina so nicely if I actually wear it. But I've not worn it. So anyhow, the lock would go obviously on these two when in use. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is a BB size, so it's, I think it's a, it would be equivalent to an 18. So it's a little slightly smaller than the 20. And listen, speedies deceive you. Like, they fit so, 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 so much more than you think. 
So this size looks small, but it's it works. And then here's the chain strap for it. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Okay, truth be told, I bought this bag in like 2019. Literally 2019. But but I've not worn it, I swear to you. Well, 2020 came and whatever, you know. And then you don't want hand sanitizer and alcohols and all these stuff sprayed on your bag and, you know, all that. But, like, do you see this? Like, it is just so freaking fantastic. I'm in love with it. Now, the red looks extra red in this light. It doesn't look so red in person. It looks more of a brownish. Um... So it's not red, but it, but you know, as this wears and, and yeah, it'll get more, you know, anyhow, inside is like monogram lighting. So it's like paying homage to all the details and it has a patch pocket, right? So I guess this was my receipt from back then because I swear I've never worn this bag. But I love it. And I just, I'm so scared. And then I had a baby, so I don't want the baby to splash up anything on it and touch it with his dirty hands and stuff. So, so I don't know when I'll wear it, but I'm happy just collecting it and keeping it um, until I do decide to wear it. But yeah, so this is the only one I haven't worn, I think, from the whole collection of them. Some of them I beat around a lot, and some of them, you know, I wore occasionally, but this one, hmm, beautiful, 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 and look at that strap, like, oh my god. Okay, so, I hope you learned a lot about the Speedy, I hope you enjoyed our closet conversation, uh, and remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, turn on the bell so that you know when I post more videos. Thanks so much for joining me, and have a great week.